everybody! While we were at the Rad Zoo with Clint from Clint's Reptiles, we got so much footage of their reptiles eating that we decided to make a whole second video just for feeding the predators at the Rad Zoo. But before we start, I would like to quick thank today's sponsor, Audible! Audible is what I listen to when I am cleaning and feeding my reptiles, including Rex. Rex! I have food! Tonight, she's getting steak. You're welcome. I'm currently listening to the award-winning audiobook, Tea with the Black Dragon. Now this, I mean, being a reptile lover and a sci-fi lover, anything with dragons is right up my alley. And this is about a mother who's trying to find her missing daughter with the help of somebody who can turn into a dragon. How cool would that be to turn into a dragon? Anyway, it turns out her daughter is actually involved in a major crime, but that's all I'm gonna say. No spoilers. Anyway, you can get that audiobook for free or any other one of your choice by going to audible.com slash snake discovery or by texting snake discovery to 500 500. There you'll also get two free Audible originals and a 30-day free trial. It doesn't have to be the audiobook, Tea with the Black Dragon, of course. It can be any audiobook from their library you want. You can get it for free using that link. I'll put that link in the description below. Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks on the planet. You can use it to find a new fitness routine or learn a new skill or to have something to listen to when you're taking care of reptiles like I do. If you don't like it, you can exchange your audiobook for free or you can cancel at any time but you still get to keep all of the audiobooks that you've already downloaded. Again, just go to audible.com slash snake discovery or text snake discovery to 500 500 to get your free audiobook today regardless of price. Thanks again Audible for sponsoring today's video and let's go feed some predators at the Red Zoo. They're gonna feed this beautiful water monitor. Oh, she's already coming up. She knows. This is Khaleesi. Khaleesi. <laughs> That's oh, awesome, man. I love that name. So this is Khaleesi. She's one of our um, rescue animals here at the Rad Zoo. She's um, grown in size from about the width of a tennis ball to her watermelon sized body right now. And she loves to eat rats, chicken, and a little bit of fish now and again. This is a big one, guys. Literally. Yeah, the heaviest in the world. We're gonna feed, they're gonna feed, this green anaconda. Here it comes. Let's see how this goes down. This is Ariana, our green anaconda, one of our favorites here at the zoo. When we got her, she was about as big around as a golf ball and just a couple feet long. In the eight short years we've had her, she's put on close to 100 pounds and has the potential to put on close to another 100 as well. Here she's having a chicken. She'll also eat rats and any other small mammal that we might bring around for her. She's a voracious feeder, as you can tell by this strike. It is pretty hot right over here. I was thinking that too. I'm a little hot as well. Well, I mean, uh, look behind you. I think we should feed some Ooh. hot snakes. Yes, let's feed some hots. Hot also means venomous. <laughs> the lamest strike ever. I'll take that. This is our Sri Lankan palm viper. This animal's venom is one of the most mild of any of our snakes here at the zoo. I've heard that it's comparable to bee sting. I'm not going to take that chance, but that's what I've read. They're gonna feed the crocodiles next! Oh, here they come! Oh, they're so gentle! Yeah. Not compared to Rex. Uh-oh. That one, not so much. Yeah. Spoke too soon. 
They use are our desert crocodiles. These are animals that came to us uh, from area where they weren't being cared for. And there are some of our most voracious feeders at the zoo, as you can watch by this charge. Yeah, that's what Rex does. <laughs> right into the water. Yeah, she brings it in the water with her. I like the feeding tongs. Yeah, they're intense. Yeah. Those are better than the tongs I have. I'd be very nervous to try to feed these with the tongs I have. <laughs> these ones you just hand feed. Oh yeah, it works the first time. <laughs> first two, you've got two hands. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now she's like bragging, look what I still have. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have your food anymore and I do. This is our banded bamboo shark. This is an animal that we got as a hatchling. Big around as our thumb, and it's gone through quite a few shrimp and um, fillets of fish, and is just growing steadily, almost full grown at this point. Pheasant. I love pheasants. I think of all the birds, they look the most like dinosaurs. And yeah. birds are dinosaurs. And I heard they're about to cheat a dinosaur to an alligator. Really? Yeah, no Let's deal. go check it out. Yep. Here, here Peter is feeding a couple of our younger American alligators. These are rescue animals that were former pets that we just don't think should be pets. They just get potentially between six and ten feet long for Osceola, our cow gator and sequoia or bull might get up to upwards of 10 to 15 feet long. So these are just going to be some huge animals eventually. So in this tank we have a couple of our snapping turtles, both a common snapping turtle and alligator snapping turtle. This common being a Florida variety is probably close to full grown, but you see how it's got that long neck when it strikes, grabs all that chick in the water, would have vacuumed that chick right up and sucked it right down before it even had to clamp down. The alligator snapping turtle latches on and it, it can inhale that rat as well, but it takes a little, little bit longer based on the size of that rat. They would eat some muskrats in the wild, so it's a typical food source for them. We also feed them some um, fish, fish pellets, and chickens since they might catch water bird now and again. Do you have any toes for the common snapper? He seems like you'd like he is, um, There is just a tiniest gap underneath that um, glass <laughs> there, so we get a little cross flow and I'm very, I need to pay attention to where my toes go because I, I, I do like them. You've got so many. <laughs> yeah, actually spare one. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was just incredible. I had a rad time at the rad zoo. <laughs> they fed just about everything in front of us. I, yeah, I've never been to a zoo and seen so many things get fed. That was so cool. What a neat experience. I know, and the cool thing is, like, it's not just for us. They, they have shows every single day at the rad zoo and on the weekends, so that's the time to go if you want to see everything get fed. They feed everything just like they did for us today. Yeah. So cool. We, of course, didn't film everything in the zoo because we want to keep some things a secret. You'll gotta just have to. got to be some mystery, right? Got to come here and find everything, of course. Can't show you at all. No. But we'd, of course, like to thank the Red Zoo for having us here and for feeding. I'm looking at you, Jamie, off screen. Thank you for feeding the animals for us and showing us this amazing facility of yours. And also, thank you to everyone watching today's video. And thank you, Clint, for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. It's like our second video together at the Red Zoo. No big deal. <laughs> thank you. We did two here today. It's this is great. Also, thank you to our Patreon supporters for backing this channel. We really appreciate your support, and we'll see you next time.